Sam here from Great Australia and Prosper. I'm here with Lindsay and Kate from the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet, uh, which is one of Australia's leading graduate employers. Just here to ask a few questions about your grad program, what it's a bit like. Um, so Lindsay, start with yourself. Why does the Department of uh, Prime Minister and Cabinet hire grads? The Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet is um, committed to shaping new leaders. Um, so we're really excited for graduates to come into the department. They bring such diversity of, of thought and experience and, and the skills that they've learned at uni, but then also a lot of the co-curricular activities that they've been involved in. Um, yeah, so we're really excited for our next round of graduates. Fantastic. Bit of a curveball here, Lindsay. Yes. Worst thing? about being in the graduate program? What do you think? Um, I don't know, like we'll start firstly with the Canberra winters. They can be pretty <laughs> <Yeah>. cold. Um, <laughs> I think at the department, um, we are constantly working on the priorities of the government, which can change at the drop of a hat. Yep. So I think you've got to be really adaptable and willing to work on different things as they come up. So I think that ever-changing nature of what you're working on can be hard for some graduates to, to, to um, adapt to. You know, Having to deal with that sort of ever changing climate, do you find it builds a lot of resilience in your grads and a lot of like future skills that are like quite relevant? Oh, I think so. And I think for um, graduates have that experience at such a young age um, and you know so early in their career um, to be able to easily change different priorities um, and to work on different tasks and just pick it up as they go. I think um, that that's really yeah. Really it's a great skill. early life skill to, to develop. Yeah, so. you find it feels quite well rounded. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, APS yeah. Yeah. Well. Definitely. Fantastic. In terms of your ideal candidate, what do you, what do you look for? Oh, look, we really want to see everyone from everywhere. We want to see people from regional universities, people who have studied things that you wouldn't even think that you could apply in PM and C. But even courses like teaching and nursing and philosophy and anthropology and um, STEM, I mean, that one's massive. It's all of those different skills that you can bring and apply that lens to a certain policy that would help make a, a real difference to the work. Um, yeah. And you know, you've already said not to regional universities as well, so not just the G8 universities. Never. Look, yeah, no, no. We try really hard to um, attract candidates from, from all parts of Australia, like from Tasmania to Northern Territory, all the way to WA and back again. So Kate, you mentioned STEM is a focus. And so Kate, are you able to give me a bit more of a you know, insight into why you're looking for those science and technology and engineering and math students? So we typically attract a certain kind of graduate. Um, and while those skills are really important, um, I think there's a lack of understanding that we do actually have roles for STEM graduates. Yep. Um, so, you know, for example, we've got a cyber security area, we've got, you know, health and sport, um, we've got, you know, data analytics. So I think it does, like, encompass a lot of the STEM um, disciplines. And I think as well, graduates using the skills that they've learned in the STEM as a lens for policy and programs that we're creating. So, yeah, I think definitely. Um, Follow-up question to that as well, Lindsay. Um, in terms of... The you know, misconceptions you find on a graduate's application, what are some common mistakes in that process? I think um, graduates often try to be someone that they're not or they try to be who we... Who, who they, they think, think we want for. them to be. Yeah, I, absolutely. I think a big mistake we see is um, someone not being authentic or not being themselves. Like we really just want to know about the person. Um, I would say that we hire more for potential than we do sometimes skill and I think sometimes graduates want to tell us what they can do um, and, and, and how they've done it but sometimes we want to see the potential that they have and so we want to see that authentic motivation to come and learn and grow um, and so my advice would be is just be yourself. Well, thank you to you both for giving a bit more clarity about um, PMNC's graduate program. Uh, thanks.